Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa and you're watching the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. So if you're new here, what I usually do on this channel is I show you a deck from my personal collection, talk about what I like about the deck, what I don't like about the deck. I show you all of the cards, we talk about the card stock, the guidebook, how the, how the deck shuffles, and at the end we pick a card and read from the guidebook so that you would also have an idea of how the guidebook reads. I have timestamps for all of those sections down below. If you're just interested in one part of the video, please feel free to just click on the links down at the description box. So for today, we have an indie deck called the Modern Goddess Oracle. So this is by Ethany. It has 49 goddesses and 16 empowering archetypes for the metaphysical badass. So I do like Ethany's decks. I do like her style of writing and yeah so let's just read this is a 65 card deck and guidebook this deck brings ancient goddesses into the current era with all the challenges technology and complexities of life their core characteristics remain the same but their appearance and viewpoints have evolved allowing you to bring them into your everyday life and spiritual practice so this is created and written by ethany and copyright 2021 so it comes in this magnetic clamshell box. Uh, you have, you do get, it's sticking. You get um, Ethony's thank you card. You have a, a link to her uh, moon guide, Tarot by the Moon. So basically she has spreads for each of the full moons. And you can download that from her site. And then you have this guidebook. So I like Ethany's decks because the guidebooks are usually very, very detailed or there's a lot of information that you can get. So for the table of contents, you have an introduction, you have some spreads, and then you go into the meanings of or uh, the details for each of the cards. But if you look further, let me just show you the inside of the guidebook. So this is the introduction, how to use the deck the tools. Then you have different spreads, a two-card spread, a triple goddess spread, divine archetype, a pentacle spread, which is wheel tarot spread, and then you meet the goddesses. So for each card or each goddess or archetype, you would have the name, the keyword, the symbols that they are holding or that are on the card, an affirmation, information about the goddess, the meaning, the divination meaning, how to work with the goddess shown in the card, the shadow meaning, and healing with the card or the goddess in the card. Basically, these are prompts uh, or action items that you can do to heal with this particular archetype or goddess that you drew. So that is how it goes for all of the cards and even for the archetypes at the end. So I really like that there's a lot that you can get from the guidebook. And usually that's how Ethony's <laughs> guidebooks go. Uh, these are the cards. It is this beautiful blue color with gilding or uh, I'm not sure, foil details. It is reversible if you do read reversals and gilded in this silver color. Uh, it is a little bit bigger than your usual tar tarot size. Let me just grab. Let me grab a tarot card real quick. Okay. So this is how it is uh, next to a tarot size card. Just a little bit taller and wider. So the card stock is matte. And it snaps back really well. I like her cardstock. You know, it's just, it feels a little bit thicker so than, than the usual mass market cardstock. But still slippery enough to overhand and flexible enough to riffle shuffle. And it snaps back really well. Okay, so let's just zoom in and take a closer look at all of the cards. All right. So these are not in order. I have been using this deck, but it is very much drawn in a much more modern uh, style 
than what you would typically associate with that goddess if you're familiar with them. And I like that because, you know, you can have your traditional goddess text, but this one brings it into the present and it just, it's a different take, it's a different style. And I like it about this deck. And there are a lot of goddesses here that I am not that familiar with. So it's also a good thing to have, you know, that information in the guidebook, meeting the goddess, so that you would also learn, uh, learn from the deck. Now, honestly, I, I think I buy decks also because I want to learn about stuff. And maybe it's, uh, it's not really just about divination or, uh, you know, fueling my tarot and oracle practice. It's really more of the, to feed my curiosity, my, my hunger for learning <laughs> and all of that. And that's why I tend to gravitate towards decks that have uh, meaty guidebooks and has a lot of information that I can get from the deck. So even if it's a deck that I don't necessarily find um, I'm drawn to, uh, to read with daily, at least I have the book that I can read and learn from. So honestly, I'm, I really like the fresh perspective and the art style that she has in this uh, deck because it does feel... Uh, it does feel a lot more rooted to um, to the present, which makes it more relatable somehow. I also would still like a traditional goddess deck, but I haven't really found one that I resonated with. So... Yeah, I'm still on the lookout for, for something like that. But this one is really special in its own right as well. I also got, this is an indie deck, I but I did get it on sale at 50% off. So I think I got it around uh, Black Friday time in the US. So November, end of November. So you can also... If you're interested, you can also check it out at her, her website around that time to see if this deck would also be on sale. I love this Artemis card with her arrows as tattoos. And it also helps you learn about archetypes, so our typical archetypes that are associated with usually female. Iris. So let's see how this deck shuffles. No issues. Riffle shuffles just fine. It is a little bit longer, so I do have to stretch my hands out a little bit, but I can still riffle shuffle it with new issues. I can also bridge it. Overhand shuffling is also nice. It doesn't have cards that stick to itself or clump and we do get jumpers or yeah so let's just pick one probably oh okay, well maybe let's read for both because you have a goddess here you have Hera and you have an archetype so let's just see how it reads so let's start with Hera so the, the keyword is responsibility. You have the symbols, the peacock. Uh, 
Okay, we have this, the peacock, the cow, and what? Uh, here, okay, I was trying to find the cow. So we have the peacock, the cow, and Polo's crown. So probably that one. And then her affirmation is, I take responsibility for my life. So here is the queen of the Greek gods. She is the protector of women and presided over med marriage, women, and childbirth. As one of the Greek pantheon's most prolific mother goddesses, she represents both the positive side and darker sides of motherhood and responsibilities. She is a serious goddess who is known to be rather vengeful if she perceives someone has crossed her. She does not play around. Actually, there's a lot of stories about Hera getting jealous about, um, you know, with Zeus's infidelities and caused a lot of chaos to other goddesses and mortals. So, yeah. There's a lot of negative <laughs> negative stories about Hera as well. Um, for the divination meaning, sorry, I'm trying to find the light. Hera often arrives in a reading when someone needs to take responsibility or be held accountable for their actions or how a situation has unfolded. Taking responsibility means cleaning up your messes and making changes so it doesn't happen again. Not just hoping that everything will just magically sort itself out. Being accountable can be difficult, but we all make mistakes and it is through owning these mistakes that we grow as a person and live an authentic life. So I won't read the rest, but you do have how to work with Hera. You can pause here if you want to read. And then the shadow meaning and how to heal with Hera. And then I'll also read the one for the actress. So let me just find it here. Okay. So for the actress, the keyword is authenticity. That's an interesting keyword for actress. Uh, symbols would be the symbols would be the hat that she's wearing, the movie poster, and costumes. And her affirmation is "I remember who I am." So meeting the archetype, this actress is not just any actress. She is an A-list star who has great screens around the world with her performances. Her lavish lifestyle is coveted by many, as are her many awards, beautiful home, and picture-perfect life. The actress can adapt to many different roles, and she has learned to embody many different archetypes in her work. The work of the actress reflects true stories of love and loss and, out and outstanding fantasy performances. However, when the filming stops and the crowd has gone home, she is still a human, a soul on her journey towards authenticity and a reminder that what we see on the screen is not always real. Okay, so that explains it. Uh, the divination meaning, it is time to remember who you are deep within yourself and show that to the world. Authenticity is not just something that you find once and then your work is done. The small decisions you make each day bring you closer to who you are. Anything you do that feels right in your heart space is a good indication of authenticity. You will change and grow over time, and you may find that you shed old roles and personas as time goes on, which is to be expected. This archetype is a favorable sign for those who take part in any performance art. Keep sharing your art with the world. And then... This is how you work with the actress archetype, the shadow meaning, just pause if you want to read, and how to heal with the actress. Okay. So it is an interesting deck. Um, you know, it's a modern goddess deck. And I think that Ethany has done a really good job at bringing these goddesses and archetypes into the present for us to learn from them. I really like the bold colors. It's a very beautiful, colorful deck. And I'm very much interested in working with it. I'm not gonna work with it every day, but you know, when it's just a very unique take on goddess energy that I appreciate that she created this particular deck. And I really love this High Priestess card. Isis. I'm not familiar with her, but I would be interested in learning about her. Kali. The Crone. Mm. 
the mother. So there are goddesses from different regions, so there is diversity as well in that. And let's pick a goddess. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's. I'll leave it with an archetype and a goddess here for you. And yeah, that has been the flip through of the Modern Goddess Oracle by Ethany. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos like this at least once a week. See you again next time. Bye.